On days we feel like scorched earth, like corroded rust or trampled dirt. All we have to do is turn our face toward the gentle breeze and be sprinkled into the four winds, be swept away by the wind's tender breath. We are made holy through this burning, like a phoenix rising from its ashes to become more powerful than it ever thought possible. The scorching does not destroy us. Rather, it burns through the shaft until our greatness is revealed and what's of real value remains. This is our defining hour, the moment we are made whole by what has made through the burning. So let us be marked, not by sorrow or pain, not for false humility or for thinking we are less than we are. Let us claim our brilliance within the debris. Let us dance on the ashes of our previous lesser selves. Let the stars be engraved into our bones and our divine fearless nebula return home ashes to ashes dust to dust from the rust our masterpiece shall arise Again he began to teach beside the sea. Such a very large crowd gathered around him that he got onto a boat on the sea and sat there while the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. He began to teach them many things in parables, and in his teaching he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on the rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among the thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil, and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. And he said, Let anyone with ears to hear, listen. Let us pray. I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in deeply. And I want you to think about that image. A sower went out to sow. Can you see the seeds in his hand, each little one? Can you see those seeds being scattered? A sower went out to sow. The seed of your kingdom is forever being sown, God, into our lives and our world. But it doesn't always take root. Sometimes it fails to find a place to grow. And so we pray for ourselves and others when life makes us hard and resistance like a well-trod path. 
where old habits, old systems, and old patterns of thinking keep your message from growing. And so we pray for ourselves and others, and when we become so immersed in the short-lived, shallow, rocky, rock-hiding soil of the moment, where your life too easily gets blown away by the wind. And so we pray for ourselves and others when our fears and insecurities, desires and self-absorptions tangle like thorns around your grace and choke it into silence. And so we pray. There are times when the seed does take root and we pray for ourselves and others. When you are so close, we can touch you. When our soil is rich and deep and brimming with life, when we feed those who are hungry and comfort those who are grieving, listen with ears that hear and hearts that understand. And Holy One, we pause now here in this moment and think about all those seeds we have sown. And we think about the places that need your seed. Be with those who are hungry be with those who are out of work. Be with those who are anxious and depressed and scared. Be with those who need your touch. We ask you to be with those who are in need of your healing presence, to be with those who are recovering from surgery. And we ask you to comfort those who are grieving. May your words, the words you taught us to pray, be seeds of the kingdom as we pray them now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. These ashes were once palm trees, shrubs. Trees and shrubs and places where the life was lived to the fullest. Once they were full of life and now they are black and gray, dry and lifeless. But mixed with oil and water of our baptism, they make good fertilizer. It will help the seeds of the gospel take deeper root in us and bring forth the fruits, the harvest of justice and peace and generosity. These are ashes worth wearing. May we accept this gift and be blessed. Let us pray. Holy One, may these ashes be the seeds that you sow in our soil. May these ashes remind us that we came from dust and we return to dust, that we are the stardust of the universe. May they be your word sown in us. Amen. I invite you to dip your finger into the ashes and to make the sign of the cross on your forehead and remind yourself that you are beloved, that you are a seed of the word. So let the ashes come as beginning and not as end. The first sign, but not the final. Let them rest upon you as invocation and invitation. And let them take you the way the ashes know to go. May they mark you with the memory of fire 
and of the life that came before the burning, the life that rises and returns and finds its way again. See what shimmers amid their darkness, what endures within their dust. See how they draw us toward the mystery that will consume us, but not destroy, that will blossom from the blazing, that will scorch us with its joy. And if nobody told you today that I love you, remember that God loves you and always will. That Jesus loves you and always will. That I love you and always will. May you sow seeds of love. Amen.